James Kaufman, World News Report today, July 23rd, 2024. God bless you and yours. No matter where you are in the world, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Representative Pat Fallon eviscerates Secret Service Director Cheadle. Representative Pat Fallon, Republican Texas, delivered a scathing critique of Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle's handling of a critical security incident, suggesting she was so incompetent she might as well go back to garden snack chips instead of the president. Fallon pressed Cheadle on her absence from the crucial security site, revealing she had not visited even nine days after the incident. Fallon exposed that Cheadle had not communicated with the on-ground security team until three days after the incident, a delay he found unacceptable. Cheadle's responses were vague, suggesting she did not have a clear timeline of her actions during the crisis. MJ Truth Ultra at MJ Truth Ultra tweeted out, Holy crap, Representative Fallon just buried Cheadle. Cheadle still hasn't visited the site after nine days? She spoke to the agents involved three days later? The Secret Service counter snipers were on a sloped roof steeper than the shooters? He recreated the event and got kill shots. The closer. Quote, you should go back to guarding Doritos. True. It's as telling as it is chilling. We have satellite images from the public fairgrounds. Have you visited the site? No, I have not. Nine days and you have not visited the site. You should have been there that night. Did you talk to that evening? Did you talk to the team, the heroes that surrounded the president? Did you call them that night? They were still operational. So that's an answer. No, you should call them the next day. President. Yes, I spoke with You called them the very next day, not the day of. Or was it 72 hours after? I don't know the timeline, but I spoke with okay, them immediately. Immediately. I think it was 72 hours after. You waited three days. What is immediately clear is that there are a number of structures that need to be secured. Of these, Director, other than the first, you know, immediate four, what's the most dangerous site that should have been secured? Because, you know, Security 101, you got to mitigate the high ground. Yes. Okay. Do you know what the next most dangerous site, what was the closest structure to the president, other than the four immediate ones that you had your counter sniper teams on? There are inside job, maybe. A number of structures around that event site. You, you know who the shooter knew? The shooter has visited the site two more times than you have, and he had a drone, and he picked the AGR building. So you said, do you remember in an ABC interview you did that you didn't have people on the roof of the AGR building because you were worried about safety because of the slope? I recall that statement. Okay. She had three snipers instead in the second floor windows of the same building looking down at the Patsy for 30 minutes before they popped him with a small caliber in the back of the head. Thus, no blood. No guts, no nothing. This is silly. Silly. Why doesn't anyone bring any of this up? If they really missed him, as they said they did, from 40 feet away, where's the hole in the roof with a big caliber gun? It's obvious his head was not hit with a big caliber gun. Does the Secret Service have a written policy to share with us about slope roofs? No. So why did you act like there was one? Because is it your practice to comment on enormous uh, na events of nor enormous national implications when you're ignorant of the facts? That's rhetorical. So here's this thing with the slopes. You go out to like 18, 12, you can get to a 112, which is about as flat as you can get without it being completely flat. And you're saying that there was a danger, uh, safety concern there. But the problem is, Director, you put your counter snipers on a 312 roof, which is steeper than the 112. And by the way, the 112 is ADA compliant. You can build a, a ramp for a wheelchair on a 112 roof. So these are nothing but pathetic excuses, and they make no sense, and they're a bunch of cow dung. All the law enforcement I've spoken with over the last nine days. That's a 512 right there. 112 means one inch per foot of rise. 512 means five inches per foot of rise. Now, these snipers ended up not being the ones that took out the shooter. 
they claim it was the ones that were another 100 yards behind them on Trump's left shoulder, which is another, well, huge lie. The sniper was taken out by one of the three snipers in the windows. We need names. We need names immediately, period. Are amazed that the AGR rooftop was not secure. And you want to know why? Because it's dangerous. I have never had any long gun training in my life. I had an AR-15 and I, last time I shot it, I shot it one time my whole life, it was six years ago. That is until Saturday, where we recreated the events in Savoy, Texas, where you recreated what happened to Butler. I was lying prone on a slope roof at 130 yards at 6.30 at night. And I knew that he had a scope, but I didn't know what kind, red dot, or magnified. So I shot eight rounds from both. You know what the result was? 15 out of 16 kill shots. And the one I missed would have hit the president's ear. That's a 94% success rate. And that shooter was a better shot than me. It is a miracle President Trump wasn't killed. Corey, compared, compared to Corey's life, is over because that damn shooter made it on the roof. It wasn't the roof that was dangerous. It was a nut job on top of the roof. Actually, it was the Secret Service and the sniper team in the windows behind him that watched him for over 30 minutes, took two pictures of him right below them, never took him out until after he took shots, and were probably the actual shooters that made the actual miss on Trump, period. Anyone with a 72 IQ that's not remedial understands this by now, period. You know what else is dangerous? I believe your horrifying ineptitude and your lack of skilled leadership is a disgrace. Your obfuscating today is shameful. And you should be fired immediately and go back to Garden Doritos. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. I love that he put his targets up there from 140 feet away. That's epic. Go back and guard Doritos. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all that can be said. We need the name of the three snipers in those windows. And you'll have the name of the assassins and the people that killed the Patsy and the people that killed the ex-firefighter trying to guard his daughter. God bless you and yours. This has gotten ridiculous. It's gotten stupid. No one can see through. No one can see the trees for the forest. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World. God bless you all.